Welcome to Rockstar Productions, where in this episode, we are going to show you how to dress up and transport your Nintendo Switch in some Mario style. Stay tuned. Gary here with Rockstar Productions. Now, before we get started, I just want to take a second and say thanks for stopping by and checking out what we have going on here today. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me and a lot to the show. If you like what you see here, I invite you to check out some of the other videos we have here on the channel, including a whole Switch and Switch Lite playlist for you to check out. And if you really like what you see here, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. That way, each and every time we do upload new content, you're kept the most up to date. Super Mario Brothers. Has there been a more iconic video game ever? I don't care if you're a Sega fanboy, a PlayStation fanboy, an Xbox fanboy, the plumber from Brooklyn is world renowned. And the folks over at MoCo, I believe that's how it's pronounced, they sent us this very cool looking Mario Brothers inspired transport case for the original Nintendo Switch. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it, we're gonna throw it on the bench, we're gonna see what accessories we can fit into it, how the Switch itself fits into it, and kind of just check it out. Let's get started. So here we have the overalls case here uh, on the bench. As you can see, I mean, the colors look spot on. I mean, it's nice kind of denim feel here on this. This is just your normal kind of vinyl um, hard-ish case, I would say, that you would have on there. Two nice zippers on there. Now, the overalls, they do act as snaps to keep everything together. No, this won't survive if Sean Long throws your switch off of a, uh, off of a bridge, but it will help kind of keep everything closed and together in a backpack or something along those lines. So, let's take a look here. Inside the case itself, this is the top area where you can hold like earphones and accessories. We're gonna check too in a second and see if this will hold like say the um, Stingray uh, network adapter and everything, the, the portable hub and a power supply. You do have a little flap here that will hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games and two elastic straps right there to hold your system in place. Now let's just check and see first of all how well our system does go into it. Fits fairly nice, shuts well. I mean, I don't feel like I'm right down on top of it. it does have um, you know enough space and whatnot. I wonder if it wouldn't feel better though if I turn it around the other way and had the basically top facing closest to the camera. Let's check that real quick. So I'm gonna slide it in this way, see if that's any better. And, and I know what it is. It's the, the hump on the back of the Joy-Cons that are making, come on, you get it uh, uh, pop out a little bit more. Yeah, no, it's still slight angle to this side, basically the top side where your volume and power rockers and everything and all that is. So we're gonna pop this. Uh, actually, we'll leave it right in there like that because there's no real difference. We do again have, like I mentioned, slots for 10 different game cartridges here. And we actually have a couple we're gonna grab from off screen, Luigi's Mansion. We'll toss that one in there. Such a great game. Holds that pretty securely there. And then Mario Kart. Eight Deluxe, yeah, holds those in there just fine. What about a power supply? Well, I just happen to have a power supply. I don't know that this is gonna fit. Well, let me rephrase it. It fits, but can I close it? No, not even close to fitting with the power supply. So if that's what you're looking to do, just know the stock Nintendo OEM power supply will not fit in this. But we do have our Stingray dockless hub here. Slide that in the top. That fits. Not too bad. Um, overall, the zippers feel good. Uh, I don't feel like it's gonna, you know, split or have any issues there, really. And the fact that I can, you know, have 10 cartridges in here, that's nice to be able to take with you on the go if you are going on a trip or, or something along those lines. This will fit headphones and other accessories like that up here. Um, I'm sure that like my Bluetooth adapter would fit up there as well. Um, overall, I love the design and the look. I think it, it nails it just great. I mean, it, let's seal that up here. I'm trying to do this without zippering it up, which I'm sure is not helping things. 
But there we have it. Look at that, that's pretty sharp. Overall, pretty nice. I do kind of wish that this was elastic here that you could pull out and kind of use this as a, as a strap right there. And obviously it's not closed all the way. We'll do that like that and like there. And now we will snap it back together. This is pretty cool. I like this a lot. Um, the materials feel good. Like I say, it's not a hard case, so if you drop something on here, it can damage and crack your screen. So don't expect it to, to basically make your switch impervious to damage. Now, one other thing I wanna do, just because I happen to have it within arm's reach here, I wanna see how the switch light fits in this, just to see if you, if you really, really wanted this, but you had a switch light instead of a switch, how it would fit. So we'll pop our switch out of here, and here's our switch light. You can use it with a switch light. Now you do have you know, some extra space on the sides and the top so it can slide around, but the switch light will fit if you are looking to customize it with its own Mario kind of themed overall carry case. Let's wrap it up. So there you have our overall look, see what I did there, at the overall case from MoCo. I do wanna thank again MoCo for sending us this to check out. There are other cases out there that are very similar to this as far as you know storage capacity and cartridges and so on and so forth. But the overall look and design of this, I mean, they nailed it. Now, if you're more of a Luigi fan and prefer your green over red and blue, they do have that as well. And for under $15, this is a great way to transport your original Switch or your Switch Lite will also fit in here too, as we did demonstrate as well. Is this something that you would pick up? Let me know down below in the comments section. Another thing down in the comments, I wanna know, Mario or Luigi, which team are you? Um, if you do have any other comments or questions, in addition to leaving them down below in the comment section. As always, you can feel free to email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. Hit me up on Twitter at rocksolidstudios, Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions, or Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. Now, if you do want to pick up one of either the red or the green ones, I will have links down below in a pinned post. Now, if you do want to pick one of those up and use those links, it does actually help the channel out. So I would appreciate if you did that. If you do want to help support the future of Rockstar Productions, you can actually do that in a couple of different ways. First and foremost, head on over to our Teespring store on screen right now. We have t-shirts, sweatshirts, and hoodies all featuring the Rockstar Productions logo on retro video game cartridges. So pretty cool over there. You can also head on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid where you can get early access to all of our content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. Plus everything that we raise through both Patreon and from our affiliate links and from Teespring gets put right back into the channel here. Whether we're getting new wireless microphones, new lights, new cases to check out. Although, like I say, MoCo did send us this one for review. And finally, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you like what you see here, if you wanna see more, you can really help support us by hitting that thumbs up button, hitting that subscribe button and that bell notification. That way each and every time we upload new content, you are kept the most up to date. I'm an absolute sucker for anything Super Mario Brothers. I love this game. And while I am known for having a huge passion for Earthworm Jim, you know, those questionnaires where if you're stuck on an island, you can only play one game for the rest of existence, it will probably be Super Mario World, quite honestly. I love the series, so I am Gary. This has been Rock Solid Productions and our look at the MoCo case designed to look like Mario's overalls. I appreciate you checking us out. I really hope to see you soon. Take care.